All right, so yeah. we, what you heard, babe? Stuff, right? I don't know. Probably a day a la carte. Well, okay, welcome to Real Men Get Down. We're here in Houston at the famous Turkey Leg Hut. Uh, lines are out the door. Parking is crazy. Parking is $10 just to get it to go. $20 if you dine in. So we're going to get ours to go and go to the food truck and just experience it. It's one of the Houston spots. We're in Third Ward. Uh, famous restaurant, soul food restaurants. Um, Cool story about this couple i heard that they started like in 2016 just selling food outside of a rodeo and it caught on and this is where they're at now so they have a to-go truck and then they have the actual dining restaurant which is crazy so we're gonna go see what the turkey leg hut is all about you guys excited y'all ready all right all right let's go there's 10 dollars over there too See that sign? It's the parking. It don't matter if you park over there or over here. This is why we didn't wait outside for the other establishment. That line is all the way back there. It's about a block, block and a half away. <laughs> All right, so that is the crawfish mac and cheese. And we got us a turkey leg. Piece of crawfish. Stink. <laughs> now, we're from Louisiana. We know a little bit about some crawfish, how they do. Ooh, spicy. That's a pig. That's a pig, too. Look at where you going. So I know when to eat it. Hey, Alright, come on guys, let's get some sanitizer, y'all. Come on. I don't know. Get some sanitizer. Here, baby. Put your hand out. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we were trying to be nice because like I said, it's a it's a crazy wait at the actual restaurant. Dang on dog. Okay, so so we got food with the food truck and um, we're from Louisiana and it's actually was another person from Louisiana behind us. So we, we did some Southern hospitality and let them get the last wing. There were two wings left at the truck. Two wings left. So we got one just to taste it and then we let our home girl behind us get one. So all of us are just tasting um, this large side of crawfish mac and cheese. And then we got this one big turkey leg. Okay. Oh, I got paper towels. Everybody, some paper towels. See what we're working with. Okay. <laughs> Ow, damn. <laughs> Told you she didn't brought the dang on dog. No, I was not brought no, this, that, I'm just saying the burner down here. You know what you're trying to no, because we are everybody got their hands clean already. Mommy just put it on the floor. She'll be alright. Try to taste this time. Dang, they got it wrapped up tight, boy. <laughs> Two layers. <laughs> I'm on my third layer. It's so messy. Alright, pass that back up, y'all, because I didn't get a chance to taste any. 
Everybody get a little spoon full. Right behind you, babe. Pass on up. Hey, look how many layers. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Yo, trying to get to it. Okay, I'm just gonna open it up. Okay. All right, let me taste a piece of the, let me taste some of that before I try the turkey leg. My board never made it back. Hey, got it. Wow. I got another one. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. I got some frost. You don't want yeah. to I'm trying to get a bite. I'm going to get a bite, babe. I want a bite. Woo. I got some big, babe. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The dog didn't make her way back up there. Get back down there. Look how okay, so the so macaroni and cheese definitely has a kick to it. But it's not it's not bad. It's good. It's really creamy. The crawfish actually tastes tastes fresh. Cause you can get rubbery crawfish from Louisiana. We know when people put rubbery fake crawfish and some stuff. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get my first little taste of the turkey leg. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is good. Man. Now, this is just a regular one. So imagine a food the guy, they got- We should got the Hennessy. They got hands in, they got jerk, they got, yeah, but, but he said, I guess it's, it's probably seasoning and stuff you put on it, because this is the leg itself, but he said he could have made it a whole bunch of different ways. So food truck, you can get like, what else did they have babe on there? It was like, tur stuffed turkey legs, so he could use the turkey legs to buy to make all these dishes. But they was expensive, I mean, we only got the one we wanted to try it. But it was like, it went up to like $30 or more. It was like turkey leg and crawfish, like stuffed or a stuffed, stuffed turkey legs. And he was using the turkey leg that you would buy. And they upgraded, you know, whatever extra stuff you got on there. Look at my wife. I taste, I taste a little bit, two little pieces. <laughs> Look at her piece. Oh, man. We got stank. We, got, we call that stank. Got a little stank on it. That burnt. All right, what do you guys think? What do you think, Shook? A thousand, Shuggy? <laughs> yeah, man, I got plenty of laughter in here. Here. Here, Bubba. Here. Shook, don't eat all the macaroni and cheese. I want one more uh, bite full. I got a lot of titles. Yeah. No, Dash, you do not get any. The dog don't never climb. She's so tiny. She's been trying to climb up there. Really, mama? Really? <laughs> All right, baby. Try some more of that. Yes. You don't like turkey? I like it. It tastes good. It tastes like ham. Yeah, it does. It tastes like ham. Yeah, like it's so seasoned. It's falling off the bone. All easy. I know we talk about cost, so one turkey leg, as I said, the price goes up with twelve dollars for one big one. If we would have got it with the flavor jerk Hennessy, that goes up to fourteen dollars. The macaroni and cheese is the only size you can get. That's why I say everything else is about ten things on the, the to-go menu. All of them are made with a turkey leg, so the price goes up from that twelve dollars to like thirty something dollars. And then this one side of macaroni and cheese is. Um, crawfish was eight dollars for a small something like that like ten dollars for a large and, the, and we go with the large the small one was like it was tiny so it wasn't working to get a small one oh yeah that was another one but it's still made with the turkey leg so it was like a side so that's what I was asking him. All that stuff he was saying. He was like, I'll take the third leg right there and I'll make it for you. Save the bone for Coco. Save the bone for Coco. Alright, this is it. This is it. I'm done. Yes, Corey. Guys, I'm going to 
Tell them I've been here. Me and Ava go meet. Tell them I've been here. Tell them I've been here to the, to the folks. I get sometimes I have too much cheese, you know. I'm getting older. Hush. <laughs> So the kids like it, obviously. My daughters like seafood. They get good shit. Based off of like regular mac and cheese, <laughs> Re regular mac and cheese and that, what do you give it? Thousand out of ten. Thousand out of ten. Mac and cheese is what the. Yeah, good job. Can't even see. My hands white. Well, 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 you gotta. It's different. Yeah, Mom. macaroni. Well, this is right. Plain macaroni and cheese. Yeah, but this one got, you know, So we had the opportunity <laughs> to go to Miami and uh, check that video out if you have it. That one has blown up in terms of like people looking at it. But we compared uh, Trick Daddy Sundays versus uh, DJ Khaled's restaurant in, in Miami, and uh, they have some really good food. But I think DJ, uh, I think uh, DJ Khaled wasn't as good as today's today was good because it's one restaurant people are making it you know from scratch all the good stuff uh, compared to dj Khaled, you know if you, when you have start having chain restaurants i think it loses some of the quality and there's several ones that are in the miami area we tried one near uh south beach so you know it just was really good food both of them but in terms of the overall edge we like trick daddy a little bit more they make a cheese like macaroni and cheese well, it's more, you like this food. You say you like this food better too. Well, yeah, chicken. Mom is making better too, is what I remember. Oh, Mom, yeah. you should start making this stuff. See how it is a bone. It really did. It fell off the bone. It really did fall off the bone, but as y'all can see. Can guys have a little piece? Turkey leg was on point. It's so up. I'm a good There you go. There you go, Dad. Give him a piece, girl. This is so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got seven people in this car. Ooh. Hey. This is so good. I want to put the red ones with the pink one. These are really good. I don't know. Those are bomb. Mm. Are you still putting the car? I'm about to get this one. This is Really? <laughs> so, <laughs> so good. Really? Yeah, That's a dog. Bone. So literally, fall off the bone. It's nothing else on that turkey, turkey leg. So, man, I definitely think if you can make it down, if you can make it down here to Houston for any event, um, definitely come to the turkey leg hut. Come early. Uh, we're, we're here on a weekday. So imagine this is a weekday, a Wednesday, and how packed. It is like in it is only seven o'clock and there are we're only two legs left. It's a line down the, the down the street, a couple blocks for the restaurant. So imagine if we came on a Friday or a Saturday, you know it's gonna be probably double or triple what we're doing right now now on the weekdays. So plan early, come to hang out, come to enjoy, but definitely recommend coming to try Turkey Hut in Houston, Texas, in near Third Ward. So Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Real men get it done. Peace and blessings. This spelling is literally the size of her. Good <laughs> 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 next time, y'all. Peace. <laughs>